What's up guys and welcome back to another video on SAT math. This video is a last minute tip, something that you can implement almost instantly to raise your score by a solid 30 points. To make this jump, it all comes down to three high level topics that really only require the memorization of a few formulas to master. The three categories I'm talking about is right triangle trigonometry, angles, arc length, and trig functions, and circle equations. These three categories constitute 3.61% of all categories tested on the SAT, which amounts to around two questions per test, but sometimes can be three, just depends. And if you knock out these problems, you can get a nice jump. Some cases 20 points, some cases 40 points, most of the time 30 points. Now if again that jumps to three questions on the test, we're talking about an even bigger jump, 30, 40, even 50 points, depending on where you are in the curve. When we talk about right triangle trigonometry, for the most part to answer these questions correctly, you need one acronym and one acronym alone, and that is SOKOTOA. SOKOTOA will give you everything you need to know about sine, cosine, and tangent, and it works like this. So stands for sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Once you know that these particular functions give you these ratios, you're good to go. The next formula that you should have down is the formula for arc length. And this is pretty simple because all we're doing is we're taking our formula for circumference, which is two pi r, and we're multiplying it by a fraction. And that fraction is simply the angle that cuts out that arc length over 360 degrees. So the formula is angle over 360 degrees times two pi r, where of course r is the radius of the circle. <laughs> Last but not least is the circle equation in a coordinate plane. If you have this formula memorized, chances are that you're gonna nail these types of questions when they pop up. Here's the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. H and K are the X and Y coordinates of the center of the circle, where R is simply the radius. And remember, we have radius squared, not radius, and they love to test on that little nuance. I hope you found this video helpful, and I wish you the best of luck when you take the SAT. And if you wanna take your studying to the next level, I definitely recommend checking out these videos right here. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.